Nine-year-old Izzy Bernstein was put on a plane by his parents in Denver, Colorado, for a flight to visit some relatives in Philadelphia. I don't remember which airlines. I think it was United. Flight took off, and at a certain point, they lost the hydraulic system malfunction. The pilots couldn't do anything with the plane. There happened to be a pilot trainer who was sitting on the plane, and he knew the floor plan. So he ripped up, he went into the cockpit, ripped up the floor, and he took manual control of the plane and almost managed to land it safely. He brought the plane down without hydraulics in Sioux City, Iowa. The plane on the way down, just before landing, the plane tilted to the side, one of the wings caught, and the plane jackknifed to a crash, to a crash landing. There were three groups of people on the plane. One third were killed instantly, one third of the people were badly injured, and one third of the people were sitting in a section of the plane that just, the section flew up in the air, and it landed in a corn patch with very high ears of corn growing. There happened to be, on that day, a National Guard training session in Sioux City, Iowa. So there were a tremendous amount of people on hand to help the, the, the injured. And one of the National Guardsmen said, you know, this group of people from that section that landed in the corn patch landed upright. And the people themselves, they all of a sudden, they were in a crash, they landed, they simply unbuckled their seat belts, got out of their seats, and they walked out of the corn patch. Now this soldier, no, no, nobody realized that there was a group of people in the corn patch. He said he took a look and all of a sudden, the six foot, eight foot corn patch opens up and a group of people come marching out. He thought they were apparitions. He didn't know what it was. In any event, nine-year-old Izzy Bernstein was badly hurt. His mother was in the car after driving, dropping him off at the airport. She was on the way home, and she stopped at a gas station where she heard a news report that Flight 749 crashed and there were no survivors. Well, she fainted on the spot. Eventually, they revived her. She called her husband. Her husband said, we're not giving up hope. They went to the airport where there were reports coming in, and eventually it turned out that their son, Izzy, survived the plane crash. The man next to him was killed. I personally know Izzy, and I spoke to him about what he was feeling when they were on the plane. He said the plane was bouncing up and down in a very, very awkward manner. Everybody was terrified. And he realized that, you know, this could be it. His parents heard that this was it, yet they didn't give up hope. Turned out that Izzy survived. Today, he's alive, well, and has his own family. It doesn't always happen that way. There isn't always a happy ending. But there's certainly a message that no matter how bleak circumstances look, a person should never give up hope until they know for sure that there is no more hope.